Hey everybody, this is Pranita here and um, I am not continuing with my vlog anymore because uh, I was running out of memory in my phone because I do it on my phone so and it was not worth, you know, doing uh, that. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another series. Now this is a four file folder because I don't have access to file folders. I have said that before. So what I've done is I've made uh, the same sort of structure um, using craft paper. So I'm going to show you the details and how I am putting this together. So this is going to be that sort of video. So I have this paper pack this is a craft sketch pad and this is a huge one you know it's um, in the A3 size it has 40 sheets and it's super thick you know it's as thick as a file folder manila file folder so you can paint on this you can do your charcoal that was the initial idea but then I started doing some else like you can make this into covers of your journals also I have this in the A3 size and I also have this in the A4 size so since I don't have um, access to um, manila file folder what I did was I um, made a sort of file folder concept of my own using these paper packs these papers you know one of each like one A3 sheet and one A4 sheet so you can do it with any piece of cardstock you don't need to have a craft cardstock but uh, <coughs> I like the craft cover and uh, since I said this is a four fa manila folder concept so I've done that so what I'm planning on doing is I have um, you know made like this so these are two different parts so once I figure out which part I need to glue and what I need to do I can just stitch through the middle and make it into a cover so I'll show you how I'm going to put this cover together and um, um, how you can you know sort of um, uh, make this into a multiple pocket sort of thing like you'll have one pocket over here one over here and one on the side what I plan to do and the other thing that I plan on doing is I'm going to make this into a card slot shallow pocket so I can stitch around this side and then what I'll have is a shallow pocket over here as well as a side um, sliding pocket so I can do that <clears throat> so the next thing I'm going to show is now there is hardly any trimming or anything cutting involved and um, it's super easy you can do it with any size paper perhaps uh, that I need to um, you know figure out a little bit but uh, my idea came uh, be, you know through that I, uh, concept of using a manila folder which I don't have and um, I decided to make my own uh, manila folder style journal with a lot of pockets you can make this into a folder also so I might make a few of these folders as covers or folders and you know uh, stuff them with ephemera and um, we'll see how it goes so I can make that also and you can also put a, um, a sort of an elastic string and uh, you know you can just uh, string your journal inside and then when you finish that you can take it out um, it is going to work also so what I plan on doing is I'm going to plan on uh, playing around this theme and make a few variety variations of this but the basic thing is going to be the same you will require one A3 um, paper you can use your 12 by 12 sheet of paper I think but that will need to be done in a separate video I might do that in a separate video where I'll show how you can use your 12 by 12 papers to make the same thing and uh, right now I'm using this <coughs> so this is an A3 paper that means it's pretty huge so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just um, now this is uh, pretty cool you know they have this perforated 
um, let me show you. Uh, there is this perforated thingy, and um, you can take your paper from here. But what I do is I generally um, snip off from here. Uh, sometimes you know this perforations they don't uh, work too well so I mercilessly tear this down and put this aside so here I have my paper this is pretty big and uh, <coughs> where did I keep my file folder thingy okay so here I have my file folder thingy. So what I'm going to do is, this is my width. I'm going to hold it lengthwise. This is my lengthwise position. And I'm just going to fold this into the desired height I want. You know. <coughs> Sorry. So I'm just trying to eyeball things. So I'm, first things first, I'm going to take off this perforated part. You can use your scissors or be a little bit cautious and tear it with your hand if you think you need to. But this can be uh, modified to suit any sort of uh, paper you have. You need not have this dimension, this dimension of the paper. Uh, so here is... Here is uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create a kind of an irregular uh, step sort of thing because I'll tell you why. When I create a tab, when I create a tab out here, uh, a part of it is going to be chopped off. Okay, so automatically this becomes lowered in height. So I want this to be of considerable height uh, because that will include. Uh, the tab also and I'm going to take a little bit more and there's plenty of space below so you 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 can see it's pretty tall and I'm just going to see how much I need so you can see there's plenty of space so I can <coughs> it's totally up to you you don't need to score figure out but one thing you must be sure if you're creating a tab over here or at the top uh, about an inch half an inch of this part is going to be lowered so you, at least you calculate that much and uh, uh, because your notebook is never going to be more than eight eight and a half inches so you don't need to have more than eight and a half inches so I'm just going to see if I have eight and a half just eight and a half yeah and I'm going to just fold this because 11 um, 11 and a half by eight and a half is the standard uh, you know copy paper and you're not going to have more than that so you needn't worry about that so this is what I aim to do so my height is eight and a half <coughs> with the irregular folding and of course you can adjust this but this will determine the size of your journal you have to be careful about that and another thing you have to keep in mind is if you're creating a tab out here um, then of course the rest of the part is going to be lowered a little bit so this is the first part whereby I score I have my bone folder and you have to score this because this is a very thick thickish kind of cardstock so you have to do this and um, yeah the first step is more or less ready now the second thing is also very similar I have this A4 paper pad and uh, what I'll do is I'll just tear off one of the A4 sheets now you I could have done that with uh, another A3 sheet also but I wanted to reduce some kind of wastage because I have this I'm using this you don't need to you can just you know cut any size paper to fit the structure okay so here I have my paper but this is going to be in shorter width because I have taken it remember I've taken it lengthwise folding I've done a lengthwise folding but here I'm going to do 
a width wise folding <coughs> even then it's going to be shorter than my um you know the bigger folder or the bigger a3 paper so first things again i'm going to trim this off and again i'm going to eyeball how much i want as a pocket so i'm going to figure out you know sort of okay so i'm going to figure out this much that i need <clears throat> you don't need to have too much but that's it there is no calculation as such you can just do it with your you know as much as you feel comfortable with and i'm just scoring this and now you have the structure ready <coughs> but you can see it's pretty large on both sides so i can trim this off from one side and then i'm going to fold from the center so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to figure out how much i need to take off about an inch so i'm going to take off an inch like so so i'm going to take off an inch and see if this <coughs> fits in so it nearly fits in perfect so as you can see but when i fold this this is going to peek out so that will come later on finishing off part so the next thing we need to do is create some tabs you know so if you have a tab punch that's fine you can make some tabs out of the same paper and just glue it uh at the top but if you don't have a tab punch if you have an envelope punch i do have an envelope punch <coughs> i do have an envelope punch and i can make tabs out of this too so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create some tabs there are numerous tutorials on how to create tabs on your, with your envelope punch board on youtube i'm not going to show you how i do it it's just as simple as that i've created a notch and now i'm going to turn this around and i'm just going to eyeball it so here i have my tab and now i'm just going to snip off this part and this extra bit make this <coughs> smooth now this is not straight so this is not straight i need to straighten this a little bit okay so that i'll do later on and show you how i'm putting together this okay and over here what i've done is i've created a tab over here and another tab over here you need not do two you can do simply one or if you so want so i'm going to just again eyeball and so i'm just going to take off the extra bit and over here i'm going to do the same thing so i'm going to take this and okay so i have my tabs ready and i just need to trim these off and you know put this together you can see how easy it is no fuss kind of thing and it's just been 15 minutes basically into the tutorial or stuff like this and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to score it from the middle and fold this and then we'll come to the stitching part <coughs> because i'm not going to um you know do much i think i don't i don't know i might 
because this is a craft colored one i might do some faux stitching or you know strips of paper we'll see uh, that you know later on so i'll be coming back to show you how i am um you know uh, how i have trimmed everything up and uh, what i'm planning to do next So I'm back everybody, uh, this is a very quick project that you have seen and uh, I'll definitely show how you can make use of your 12 by 12 paper packs to make these and um, so I have, I, I'm using this paper collection, this is from Antique Papery, I think it's called Inked Blossoms, uh, Blossom and some, uh, you know, some butterfly papers that I have but um, basically I'm using the floral ones and I will also show you how I make ephemera out of these. So this is the collection that I'm using. I'm going to post a link to this um, collection below uh, in the description box. And um, what I've done is actually you require only two sheets of paper. Because you're going to see bits and pieces of the pocket, I have not lined them up entirely because that is going to make it extremely bulky and... Uh, unsuitable so what I've done is I have taken uh, just let me show you so I've taken this paper and I have sliced it from the middle this is the paper and I've sliced it from the middle and then I've rounded the corners and stitched around it um, and now I can you know use it either on the front or at the back whichever side I like and um, yeah, so uh, I'm going to ink everything up and glue and show you the uh, finished part. So I'm, uh, I'll probably make this into an ephemera holder with a journal uh, which is not going to be inside this, which is just going to accompany this and um, uh, it's going to be very plain and simple journal, you know. Uh, it's not very fancy, but uh, the papers are extremely pretty and this is called Inked Blossoms. I'm going to post a link, um, you know, in the description box of this collection that I'm using, but uh, they don't come with ephemera, so I have to come up with ways to make ephemera and I also have some in my stash from Antique Papery. I'm going to use them also along with a few stuff that I have. So what I've done is I have just... Uh, you know made the tabs and everything done but I have not inked everything up and nothing basically and I'm going to ink um, and glue everything and show you how it looks and the finishing part will be after I stitch everything up so here I'm using uh, let me move the camera a little bit so that you see it okay I think this is nice so um, I'm using vintage photo because this is a craft colored cardstock so I wanted to give it a darker finish. Uh, I could have gone with ground espresso but um, I thought that it's going to look too dark so I'm, I'm not going with that. So I have my um, file folder, four file folders ready and I'm just going to ink this up. And the next uh, thing that I'm going to show you is uh, how you can do the same thing with your 12 by 12 cardstock. Or if you have larger cardstock, then it's, you, can, you can use it in this way also. And yeah, so that's, that's how things are. So I might add uh, some trims after I finish putting together um, you know, the basic structure. And I'm not sure whether whether I'll be doing that. So just hold on for a second. Let me take. Yeah. Um, so I'm sorry, guys. I'm just uh, moving my things from here and there because um, everything is a mess and I'm clearing out so many things and you know I just discovered that I have this stash and things like that so I'm just inking up the edges so I might do that so um, 
Yeah, so I'll come up with some sort of crafty uh, ideas every other day perhaps. So this is going to be the first part and the second part will be how I'm making ephemera for this uh, project because uh, this paper collection doesn't come with any uh, ephemera. So if you need ephemera to go with this, you will have to make your own. So that's okay by me. So I'll make some and I'll also show how you can make your ephemera if your papers don't come with ephemera okay so this takes a while to ink up because um, this is being craft colored you know it so that's that and I'm not going to ink up the middle entirely but I'm just going to uh, totally off camera uh, so I'm sorry guys I just totally off camera let me move my camera again a little bit. I don't know, my camera angle is not getting suitable in my new setup. And I'm so bugged because of this, you know. So I have basically inked up this much. And I'm going to ink the, um, ink the center a little bit. Not much, because this is going to be getting covered. So I don't need to do that. Um, and I'm going to ink up this part okay and I don't think I need to ink anything else because once I glue this down uh, glue the papers down then it's going to be pretty difficult so um, let me show you what I've done so I have taken a single sheet of paper so I'll just show you so the one that I've used is uh, just let me go through the papers so I think I have used oh my god now I can't find it <laughs> okay so I think I have used I have used this paper some some paper of this sort okay so what I've done is I have um, you know cut this into three portions so one for the bottom part, one for the middle part, and one for the top part. And uh, I've measured them out, basically, and rounded the corners and stitched it uh, all along. So you can see how I've done that. And now I'm going to ink all the edges and glue them as required so that, you know, they look filled out. So I'm going to do that. I could have done that, you know, ahead of time, but I... I was in such a big hurry to film this and post because I thought I was going to do the vlogs. Now my phone memory is not allowing me to post longer videos and take, um, oh it's a long story. Let's not go there and we, we won't get anything done. Uh, so this paper is absolutely gorgeous and I was itching to use this. I had printed this out a while back, but I was not using it. But I was holding it. So that's me. Okay. And um, yeah, I've been getting quite a lot of questions about the printing that I do, um, the paper that I use, and the kind of ink that I use. Um, a lot of, lot of questions. But the thing is that I get them professionally printed. I have, um, you know, a local professional printer and they do excellent job so this is how it's going to look so let's see how it's I think it's looking nice yeah sort of so this is done and that's going to be the top part and I'm going to go through the middle part also let me move the rest of the papers aside so Actually, I'm also planning on making an altered uh, Reader's Digest sort of thing. So this is going to be the bottom part, uh, top part. So I'm going to ink the top part, but not the bottom part, because it's going to be hidden. You know, it won't, you won't see it. So I don't want to ink everything up. So anyways, um, so I get mine professionally printed, and since I print them in bulk, um, like I don't print every day I get all my files together and then I go out and print them out uh, you know 
and um, so they give me, give me a bulk price which is way cheaper than if you want to print at home and uh, the ink price comes down to more than what I spend so um, so that's how it's looking so it's going to be okay so it's going to be over here and like so so it's going to be like so I think it's looking nice okay and now we have the top part which again I'm going to ink okay so that's how my uh, you know the printouts that I take are very crisp and the paper is absolutely divine you can write on them and whoever has purchased recently from me knows that because uh, I have switched over to um, you know uh, this is digital printing this is not even laser printing this is digital printing and the machine is a huge one where they do you printing for you know brochures and stuff like that it's a huge system that they do uh, so anyways so I um, print it out in that fashion and since I print them in bulk I get a bulk price so so I don't print like if I'm making a journal I don't print um, something right away I would um, you know plan ahead that I would print these out and then um, I go out and print them so it's going to look like this okay so it's going to look like this and I need to ink the middle part so it's going to look like this okay and I also need to ink the top folder part so this is going to turn out into an ephemera holder uh, my camera again moved I don't know why this is really bugging me just bear with me guys this is horrible I feel so frustrated <laughs> so um, this is how it's looking and now I need to ink up the top part you know this the major part and uh, I'll be done and then I'll be back tomorrow to show you what I've done to the rest of the you know rest of the folder part so I'm going to ink this So, I'm sorry this is shaking too much because um, this is shaking so much and my camera is moving wildly, wildly. <laughs> so I'm still trying to fix this, oh god. Uh, this is so horrible. I really apologize for this, guys. I really do. I know. Me and my camera issues are not going to end, it seems. So I'm just inking the bottom part up a little bit. I generally use a plastic sheet or a glass. I don't use glass. A plastic sheet or something on which the you know the ink blender glides smoothly so um, it makes your blending so much easier blending process so I'm keeping an eye on the camera also and you can see how I'm trying to blend this up So I'm just inking up the edges so you can see I'm just oh god this is a constant battle okay so I'm just inking this up and I'm going to open this now at the back I have 
not yet inked up the cover uh, images and I'll do that once I finish inking up everything and so, so this is going to be this This is like this. Okay, so I've finished inking everything and only the middle part is left. I need to do that. So when I do that, I fold up the, um, you know, the fold up everything and then go over this so that the creases stand out properly. done so you can see how it's looking and now I'm going to put these on top and this over here basically it's going to look like this and at the back we're going to do more inking and finish this so I'll be back to show you how I've glued everything up inked up and the second part will be um, coming the next way next day where I show how I'm making ephemera and how much ephemera I'm going to put inside and that sort of thing okay so bye everybody watch out for the next part hi everybody this is Pramita here so I finished the file four file folder and um, I'm planning on making uh, ephemera for these and uh, I'll show you how I do that uh, in my next video uh, that's going to come up tomorrow so uh, hopefully tomorrow <laughs> because it, it's going to take a while to um, create ephemera for this pip, this folder because as I said before this did not come with any ephemera but I have to dig into my stash and see whether I have some items that would go uh, you know will be cohesive with this and uh, I kind of uh, glued everything down inked everything up and um, I'll just go through the, you know, the rest of the pages where, uh, I mean the portions where I think they would need a little bit of inking. But I've not glued uh, the pockets down, as you can see. I have kept them open because um, I will stitch these once the glue has completely dried because I don't want to mess up with my sewing machine because it's extremely temperamental and... Uh, moody and it, it doesn't uh, seem to work well with uh, glued surfaces so um, this is how it's looking and I think it's looking pretty good um, so uh, this can become an ephemera holder and uh, a plain journal to go with this um, maybe I'm going to do that so um, or I can you know stitch a journal inside which I don't want to do right away because if you feel like if if the person who is you know going to use this feels like they can always you know stitch the journal in or just you know put a closure of sorts with a tie hair tie or something and use it and then when you finish uh, using this you can simply take it off so uh, that's why I'm not doing that so uh, this is how it's looking and I'm just going to end the video over here and I'm going to um, come back and show you uh, how I'm putting together the ephemera and the journal maybe. The journal will of course have uh, blank pages, not much of an embellished uh, journal it will be. But it's going to be a very um, you know, appealing kind of um, project that much I can say. So this is how it's looking and I will be back to show you how I make ephemera. <coughs> Hi everybody, this is Pramita here and I'm uh, back with the four file folder look that I've been doing. So I have, what I've done is off camera I have um, stitched the 
bits and pieces that I had decided I'm going to use and um, I'm going to show you the papers that I have used. I used only two sheets of paper from this collection. This is from Antique Papery and um, I'm just going to show you the papers. They are absolutely lovely and um, it's called Inked Blossoms. Uh, but uh, this is this does not come with uh, any kind of ephemera so uh, I'm going to make my own ephemera to go with this four file folder <coughs> so what I've done is basically I've snipped off uh, you know the front and the back of this paper like so and I have um, used them on the cover like this and I've stitched around that and inside what I've done is I have um, used another um, paper <coughs> from the same paper line and I've uh, cut out only bits and pieces that are going to show through, stitched around them but I've not glued uh, the pockets down but I've just glued the papers and I've inked the edges. <coughs> so that's the update that I've just been, you know, um, going to give and this will need to dry a little bit and flatten out I'm going to keep it below a thick book or something of that sort because it's uh, you know it might buckle up or something just to give it a kind of structure so I am planning on making this into an ephemera holder and uh, this will come with a bunch of ephemera and uh, a journal maybe I'm not sure so I have another one prepped so I can do another one <clears throat> so this is the first one I'm doing. I don't. I was not sure how this is going to go, so I took. Uh, you know, I just planned uh, gluing down papers on this one. And the next one, maybe I'm going to show you in details how I am. You know, slicing up the papers, and this is just measuring up the amount I need. Like I've not used the full part. I've just used the necessary part, and I'm going to glue the required parts and uh, stitch some parts and work on that so I'm going to show you an updated version of this once I finish everything um, and um, yeah so um, I'm also going to <coughs> show you how I make the ephemera because this didn't come with any kind of ephemera so I have used these papers these are from antique papery uh, she has this um, in her shop <clears throat> it's called inked blossoms I'm going to post uh, you know give a link below in the description box so if you want you can check that so I'll show you an updated version of this after I finish stitching and I'll be <clears throat> I'll also be back to show you um, the ephemera that I'm creating for this, uh, you know, project. So, bye everybody.